Should you attend the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Conference in January? Starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hey, what's up? Matt here with Adjuster TV. And today we're going to answer the question, should you attend the NACA convention in January? And the short answer, if you don't want to watch any farther than this, is yes, it is pretty much mandatory for you as an adjuster, especially if you're just starting out, to go attend the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters conference. Now, for the, the rest of you who kind of want to stick around and figure out and, and hear about why, the really the main reason for attending this particular conference is no, it's just really one thing, and that is is that the networking is absolutely um, it's better than any other possible networking that I personally think that you can do. And the way it, this particular convention works out of and it's the, the way it's different from other conventions um, is that it's a convention where the expo hall is full of 10 by 10 booths, like rows and rows and rows of them. And in every single one of those booths, almost every single one of them, most of them, is an IA firm or an independent adjusting recruiting outfit or a company that will hire independent adjusters, people that are laterally related to the field. But it's primarily all independent adjusting firms. And I would say that every in, in, that the independent adjusting firms that are serious that have that are serious about putting adjusters out in the field and developing new talent, those are almost always in attendance at this particular conference. I mean, we're talking the heaviest possible hitters out there: the, the pilots, the Crawfords, the Eberls, the Renfros, the Alacrities, the Wardlaws, the um, so on and so forth. All of these companies are. The, the big ones, the ones that have been around for decades, the ones that recognize the value of face-to-face, hand-to-hand contact with people who are either looking to move around in the field, in the industry a little bit, or who are brand new to the industry or are looking to be onboarded and further developed um, to, to get work and to really get into this rewarding um, industry as a, as a property claims adjuster. Okay, Those are the companies that show up. I. And not to say that there's anything wrong with it necessarily, they may have other, other ways of doing it, but the companies that don't attend this conference um, tend to kind of fall off the radar, at least fall off my radar anyway. Um, I, I don't find that them, them to be, maybe they don't have the need, right? There, there could be a million different reasons why a company wouldn't attend the, the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Conference, um, but I think that the ones that are serious about it and the ones that are that, that show up every single year um, are the, those are the companies that you, as a brand new adjuster, should focus on first um, when you're getting started in this industry. And the best way to do it, and arguably the cheapest way to do it, is to is to to register and attend this travel to and attend all four four and a half ish days of this conference. Okay. The reason why it'll save you money is because, you know, if you have all these like major uh, IA firms and you wanted to interview in person with them, with their, with their vice presidents of operations, their recruiting directors, their HR people, the team managers, the people that actually hire, that actually will be your boss in the field. Those people are all at this conference. Um, if you wanted to try and to get that kind of access to those people, one company at a time, you're traveling to Dallas, you're traveling to Mobile, you're traveling to Atlanta, you're traveling to Orlando, you're traveling to New York, you're traveling to Ohio, you're traveling to Denver, right? Um, multiple trips, multiple times a year to work into the schedule to try and do that. If you can even do that, right? Not every one of these, these companies, uh, in fact, even have a conference of their own. Some do, uh, but not all of them do. And they rely on this particular conference to be the one that is where this is the conference where they're going to get the most bang for their buck. And this is where you're going to get the most bang for your buck f from a networking standpoint. It's not, and it's all day long for three, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It is all interviews. There are courses that you can take at this, at this uh, convention for CE and so on and so forth. But I think the, the biggest value by far and where you should really focus your attention is in film. They have an app for the, for the event, right? You can, and you can set appointments to sit down and interview with all these companies 
a little app scheduler thing, fill that thing for all three days. Sunday is uh, registration to check in. There's an evening event. There's evening events all week. And then Thursday is an NFIP event that may or may not be for you as a new person. So attend this conference. It is absolutely critical for your career. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.